So um, there are a couple considerations to make when we are fall planting. Um, it's still very late summer, so when we say fall planting, it's just just a, mm, a designation, I guess, for for the that time of year for gardening. So a spring garden you might plant in late winter and early spring here. And then a fall garden, you might plant some things in fall, but you're sort of pushing the season a little bit by planting at the end of summer. Um, so today's the last day of August, we're coming up on September, and I'm putting some things in the ground. One consideration is to determine when is the first frost date for fall or winter in your area. And so then for us, it's beginning of November. And that doesn't mean a frost always comes at that time, but it's something to plan for. And so then when I'm considering, well, how long does it take, say, for a beet to grow? Okay, 55, 60, 65 days. So then you count backwards from the frost date, say, say it's November 4th, then you can go up to, you know, September 4th, knowing you have a full 60 days for that crop to be ready to harvest. Um, so anyways, that's why I choose the beginning of September um, for my fall crops, which include for the most part, um, beets, turnips, carrots. Um, I am putting in yod fa, that is new for me, new for my fall garden. I did it this spring, it had great success. It's a very tasty plant and I'm all for sauteing that up. And, um, or it's just, it's, uh, it's really great. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a fall crop of yod fa. So that'll be, that'll be a new try. Um, and then various Asian greens are going in the fall garden. Oh, onions are going in and um, some herbs, cilantro is going in. I uh, just put in some Thai basil. Um, we'll see how that goes. Cilantro I've done before, it does very well in the fall garden. Hmm. And then some of the things will finish up by the time of that first frost. The, the yod fa, for example, will probably be done um, some of some of the greens will be done the ca the kale and the cilantro and um, things like that they look they 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 spring back after a simple like a maybe a frost that wasn't too too freezy or too hard on them they spring back and um, and you can still eat them and they're still fine um, some other things over winter that you don't have to worry about are the onions and the carrots. So even though a freeze is coming, um, doesn't it doesn't really matter. They can live under the snow, and you can pull them out later. It's um, at least in our area. I, I can't speak to heavy winters. We have a very light winter here. Anyway, those are that's some of the thinking behind what I'm putting in the ground um, when. Um, the turnip I'm going to do is ready, oh, so fast, maybe 40 days. So I'm going to put a couple in today, last day of August, but I will probably put some in again, end of September, beginning of October with confidence that I can pull one more crop out of it. So, so yeah, so look at the, um, you know, how long does that thing take to harvest? And how many days do you have until the frost? And will your plant be finished up by frost time or can it live a little bit longer under the ground? Those are the considerations for fall planting. Hope that helps. Um, hope you're enjoying uh, getting a second crop out of gardening here. A lot of people put their gardens to rest after summer, but um, one thing to consider in our area is that you can grow again. Um, so encourage and promote and do it myself um, uh, fall gardening happy gardening hope you're having a great day